Yo guys, welcome back to King Owls, and yes, um, some breaking news, Connor Ben has officially been cleared of his charges, uh, well not charges, of uh, his positive fail drug test, but I don't get the whole situation though, because obviously he he didn't fail one, he failed two drug tests, and I... It, I don't see how they can get it wrong, especially if you've done it twice and failed two of them. I don't, I, I, I don't get it, and I think the whole situation is a complete mess. If I'm being completely honest with you, like, like nothing just randomly appears in your system, and then you test positive. Like it won't, it can't be an accident, especially if it's happened twice now. Um, I just feel like you know what they've done is they've just wanted to drag it out for as long as possible make people kind of forget it a bit and then uh, and then yeah probably test them again um as he now probably hasn't been taken anything and then now he's fully innocent apparently now which i don't know i don't get the whole situation to be honest with you i don't i think i mean i it's so confusing it's so 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 confusing uh what's happened with all of it to be fair connor ben um, well, they haven't actually, well, you know, on, Con I don't, I, I don't get it. I don't even think, know if Connor Ben has been proven innocent. Like, he's probably had some kind of ban or something. And it's been less than a year. It's been about, what, like, nine months or something since he tested positive. Uh, well, since we found out. And so we got, like, a nine-month ban. And now he's been brought back. Now we can fight in the UK again. I, I don't get it though. So if, even if he has been banned, uh, he if he was guilty and he has been banned, he was banned for nine months. There are some boxers who haven't even fought for who who haven't even fought um, since since nine months and haven't even got a ban. So nine months is hardly a ban because Conor Ben can still be training through that time. And yeah, I don't get it. I I I, I don't get it. Nine months is hardly a ban, is it? It's not a ban. Literally, you know, people don't even fight for, for nine months at times. They have nine gap fights in between their fights. So it makes no difference, this nine-month ban anyway. It doesn't It doesn't even matter. We don't even know if he fully is not guilty. I don't get how you can be fully proven innocent for failing two drug tests. When you fail two drug tests, that it means you are guilty. There's, there's no, like, there, there's no way of... Being able to prove that you're... I don't get, like, there's no way of being able to prove that you're innocent from, from that. Once you fail two drug tests, you fail two drug tests and you were guilty. Like, it, I, I, it's not going to get it wrong. It's it's not. Um, I, yeah, I, 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 I don't get what's happened with all of it, though. I don't know if it's been, like, bribery by Eddie Hearn or something to let Conor Ben back. Because, obviously, he, he, well, he, he takes Conor Ben as one, one of his biggest stars at Matchroom. I yeah, that's that that's the thing. Unless Connor Ben's bribing to do something, I I don't know. But people are saying that Connor Ben is innocent. I I don't think he is. To be fair, if, if you're looking at it that way, I think what's happened is he's probably served some kind of ban, which from um from like I don't know the British Boxing Board of Control or something. He served some kind of ban. Now he's been brought back nine months later, and now he's allowed to fight in the UK again. All of a sudden. I don't get it because he was, but he because he was banned from fighting in the UK. So clearly they've uplifted that. I don't see how you can investigate some drug test and be proved innocent somehow. When if you failed, then that automatically means you are guilty. There's not really any coming back from that. Two failed ones as well, which I don't get. And, and there's also been, and we've also been shown no proof whatsoever that he is actually innocent of it. Like, he's probably done it, but they've just uplifted the ban now. Or something. Or Eddie Earns bribed them to bring him back in earlier. I, I don't get it. But we've been shown no proof apart from we've just been told, oh, yeah, Conor Ben's now magically innocent uh, all of a sudden. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. Like, you can't... So, I, it's so weird. But, yeah, there's been no proof of us shown. I don't know what proof they can provide as well. Like, there's no proof they can provide of it. Like... You investigate some kind of drug. I, I know it's a mess. I mean, boxing is corrupt. We know, like, like we know it is. I don't get like some of these de some decisions that get made, and um, 
yeah, like we don't know if Connor Ben is fully like we 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 just don't know. But yeah, so from what's being said here by Michael Benson, he said Connor Ben is being cleared by um. Yukata over his, um, or Yukan, or however you say it, uh, over his two positive VADA uh, drug tests before his uh, before the cancelled fight against Christian Bay Jr. Now he's free to fight in the UK again. So that's what's being said by Michael Benson. If we look at what Connor Ben said, let's see what Connor Ben said. Um, he did post something. Oh, I can't really find it now. Oh, right, here we go. Right. So Connor Ben said today marks the end of the of a grooming process of a grueling 10-month process during which the WBC had already decided I was innocent of any wrongdoings, even though he failed two drug tests. That don't make sense. Uh, after a hearing with the National Anti-Doping Panel uh, and Yukata, I have now been uh, vindicated for the second time. Hopefully the public and various members of the media can understand why I've uh, maintained my innocence. For no, I, we, we don't. Uh, I don't anyway. The Yukata process is now formally ended. I'm and I remain free to fight naturally. I'm pre pleased. I'm allowed to all put this behind us, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, yeah, I don't. I, and they just thanking people. But yeah, I don't get the. I don't get the. I I don't get the whole situation. To be fair, I honestly don't like. It's this hasn't happened with anybody else. This has not happened with anybody else. Let's be real, like. If, like, like, I don't know, use Jarrell Miller, for example. Like, he wasn't fully there, like, trying to... I don't, I, I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. Like, they suddenly went into an investigate... Oh, my God. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's confusing. It's really, really confusing. Um, but, yeah, the, the ban, I don't know. Oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. I'm honestly getting muddled over my words because I don't know what to say about it all. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'll speak to you on the next one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out.